If you don't want to go through the extra steps needed to make a self-faced straight ruffle, you can take a shortcut by making the ruffle in pieces. I'll demonstrate this by making a plain straight ruffle. We start by making a ruffle with a height of 80 and a width of 223. Just note that the 223 comes from the edge that I want to attach it to. Alright, now just arrange the pattern. Make sure it's selected and hit one of your points. And now I want to go over to the property editor and change horizontal reverse to true. This will flip the pattern but keep it in the same position on the arrangement point. Alright, now I want to copy this with control C and paste it with control V. I'll also arrange this on the same point. I'll change the offset to 55 just so it won't be penetrating the other pattern. And now I want to drag select both of these patterns and change the particle distance to 10. Change the fabric preset to something medium weight like cotton. And change the simulation thickness to 6. And now I can get to sewing. I'll get the segment sewing tool and do top to top, bottom to bottom. And then I'm going to sew the top edge of this bottom one to sleeve edge. to quick check make make sure things are straight no it isn't all right get a little closer to that and then simulate and now I want to sew these edges close make sure you're sewing them to to themselves And just like the other tutorials, we're going to select the ruffle, make sure simulation is on, and we're just going to slowly drag it out, and glance, and let it settle until we get to the length that we want. Try to go out about double the length in this one. Get a partial bonus. Always remember that you can use control L if you want to see the line lengths. Just get a better idea of how far you're going out. I'm going to eyeball it then. Use the Q key, you can straighten it out a little bit. And I'm going to go down in particle distance. Five. Make it six. Simulate again. And also make these two 60 for that extra detail. And there's the cheat way to make a self faced ruffle. I won't go step by step through the ruffle with heading and double ruffle because the process is the same and you can see setups for them in the other videos. 
but I will show you the setup. You want to make sure that you arrange these small pieces first. These are the ones that will have the horizontal reverse set to true. And they'll be closest to the garment. This one single piece will be on top. Okay, remember to set your gathering lines like in the other tutorials. You want your gathering line on the garment also. Um, this particular one is a double ruffle. You, know, you see both of these slices are the same size. And they match the slices here. If you're doing a ruffle with heading, this slice would be shorter than this slice, of course. Same here and here. And you'd want to sew this top to this top, this bottom to this bottom, and sew them to the gathering lines, and sew the gathering lines to the garment. And that would give you a cheap way to do a ruffle with heading or a double ruffle.